everyone welcome back to my channel as you can see I have energy again girl I have like I'm not tired all the time I feel so much better if you're watching this I'm officially in my second trimester we made it this far we're gonna keep on going keep on going but you're not gonna see this until like I'm 20 weeks halfway through my pregnancy because that is my safe zone for having a miscarriage previous last year so typically you could share when you're like 13 14 weeks second trimester but that is not my case my doctor wants to be a little bit more strict sure and safe and i agree but in this video i'm going to be going over how i knew i was pregnant and how my first trimester was so without further ado before we get into this video i want you to stop what you're doing subscribe down below hit the like button and let's get right into it Okay, let's start from the beginning and let's talk about how I knew I was pregnant and how I found out. So basically, um, after I had my miscarriage last year, for some time after, like immediately, I was trying hard to get pregnant again. And I didn't even know I wanted to get pregnant, you guys. Like once I got pregnant and I went through the motions of it, I realized it's something that I really do want. And it was just really sad when it got taken away from me. So, of course, like going through the loss of that, right away I was like, I want to try, I want to try, I want to try. I had ovulation tests. I did. I took so many different supplements. Like the amount of supplements that I did to regulate my hormones, like my cycle. I did the yoni steam. I did sacral meditation. I did like womb reactivation. I did so much stuff. I did like, um, what is it? Like counting down, like tracking the period thing, like to a T. Like I was really trying. I was really, really trying. It just wasn't happening. This is a perfect example. Like you can't force it. Like it's, it's God's will, God's timing, divine timing. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen. And I remember like, so from the time I got pregnant, probably like three, four months prior to that, I finally stopped. I was like, okay, I'm like putting too much energy into it like I'm strategically thinking of the days like that we need to you know try and things like that and it was kind of taking the fun and the intimacy away from that part you know so I was like this is too much like I can't keep putting myself through this every time I was like a few days late for my period I'd think that I was pregnant or like you know just when I thought like okay I tracked it down so good I'm ovulating boom every time I knew I was ovulating boom you know legs up the whole the whole 10 miles you know what I'm saying but I finally got to a point where I was like okay I am not trying anymore if it's meant to be it will be because obviously me putting it in my head like I'm going to try to get pregnant I'm trying for a baby it was not working that way so I was like whatever like you know and then I started to feel like I didn't have my life all the way figured out not in the slightest one percent you know what I'm saying and I still don't, but in my head, I'm like, everything happens for a reason. It'll work out the way that it's supposed to be. And I truly do believe that, and I have this feeling inside that everything's just going to work out the way it's supposed to. So with me not trying anymore, I was just, you know, living life, normal, doing what I do. And um, I remember it was, um, when was my last period? July. So at this point, my um, after a whole year, my period was super regular, like... I could check it on the app and I knew like if it <coughs> if it said it was coming this this certain day it would come that day if not one or two days after but then once I realized my period was like three four days late I was like hmm okay typically before if I was three four days late I would run to take a pregnancy test I went through so many pregnancy tests you guys like always having high hopes like oh my god I'm gonna be pregnant um but this time around I was like eh like I've been through this motion before this whole getting my high my hopes high so I was like I'm just gonna wait a few more days and then you know maybe take a pregnancy test so a few days went by I waited till I was officially seven days a whole week missed period and then I took my period I made mean, took my period I took a pregnancy test and as I was taking it 
like I already knew like I just had a feeling I was like like I just knew I was pregnant um so this other backstory like some people might think I'm crazy or I'm like too superstitious but I kid you not you guys like uh what was it it was either the prior month in June or early July no no it was in June because I got pregnant in July early July so in June I was cooking my breakfast boom cracked an egg and I cracked an egg that had two yolks which is like a twin egg and immediately like I remember hearing something about like that means like you're gonna have twins or you're gonna be pregnant soon so immediately I run on my phone and I'm googling you know like uh what does it mean to crack a crack a twin egg a double egg whatever you want to call it and it said someone you know is probably pregnant you're probably pregnant you're gonna have twins and in that moment I was like oh my god what if I'm finally pregnant I don't know I just always have that in the back of my head and I swear to god a month later I got pregnant and I thought that was just like the craziest thing because I've never cracked one of those eggs before it's like super rare you know so that happened um during this time I'm finally back in the gym I'm not thinking anything you know like pregnancy is not even on my radar radar at this point I distinctly remember one morning because I was starting to go like wake up super early when my boyfriend goes to work he would just drop me off at the gym on the way like we're talking like seven in the morning we're already like on the road um, and I remember walking up like to to where his car was parked and I just like I randomly had like a like a quick nauseous feeling it like it came and it go and I was like Ugh. and I remember I didn't think anything of it like it, time just went by uh, my symptoms were not crazy at all, but I'm going to get into how my first trimester was in depth with symptoms. So it's not like I had like crazy like nausea symptoms. What I did have though, like where I kind of knew, my sense of smell was really super high end. Like, like especially with my partner, I don't want, I don't know why, not to say like he does not smell bad at all, but like certain smells I was picking up more than usual. Dishes were like, uh, you know, different things like that. Like I could smell everything. Okay, so the first thing that indicated that like I was pregnant besides, you know, the missed period was this situation right here. I am already a busty girl. I'm a size D already. But when I tell you there, like this area right here was so sore, like I would randomly brush it and it was sore. If I laid on it on my stomach and they were pressed, so sore. Like everything was just so sore. They were like, I swear they had a growth spurt. I know period boobs are a thing too. But this was like next level. I was like, what the hell? Like, my nipples seemed like a little like, um, how do you say, swollen. But they were like, I've never been that tender before. I was like, oh yeah, your girl's pregnant. So when I took that pregnancy test, it was like, I already knew I was pregnant. Like, I already knew. And it's just so crazy when you leave it in God's hands and you stop trying and you just let life take its natural course. Like, you'd be surprised. I always hear stories like that. Um... When people like finally like you know like I'm just gonna basically throw in the towel and let what happens happens that's when you know usually you're greeted with your blessings so yeah that is how I found out I was pregnant and now let's get into the second half of this video which is how my first trimester was okay so me even being able to say like I'm in my second trimester is huge for me like it never really feels like it's gonna be real this time or you're gonna make it that far and all these other things it was really scary and stressful for my first trimester I was constantly constantly overthinking everything like um, in the beginning when you have like your normal small cramps that like your, your uterus is expanding I was like always like super paranoid like oh my god like is everything okay things like that so when I first found out it was kind of hard for me to like ex not accept it but like be happy about it and I felt like I didn't want to talk about it out loud too much get my hopes up get my partner's hopes up so that like kind of sucked like that fear I mean I'm still like mm, you know like I don't think that will ever go away until I actually deliver but I'm still like in a state of fear but I guess I'm a little bit more like at ease knowing that like okay the first chunk is done you know what I'm saying and I only need like five six I think five more weeks to go until like I'm in the safe zone for my situation so just the stress made it a little different but then I started to like you know to like mentally change my mindset about it I'm like I'm not gonna give this fear too much energy too much time 
like too much focus basically i'm not going to feed into it like i'm just going to be happy for the time whatever time that i have to enjoy it i'm going to be happy i'm going to enjoy this pregnancy you know we started talking about it a lot more openly we we're getting so excited talking about names how we're going to parent the things we want them to do how like like whose lips are they going to have like all all the things basically like I didn't mind talking about it anymore like it wasn't this because in the beginning it almost felt taboo like don't do it or you're gonna jinx yourself type of thing but I'm not gonna have those limiting beliefs or thoughts I'm just gonna like write it to the end you know what I'm saying and just enjoy every single moment of it because pregnancy is such a beautiful thing like having your body go through these changes and I know I'm not even in the like like the pit of it yet like I'm barely 14 weeks but you know my stomach is changing my breasts are changing and all these other things but so as far as my first trimester symptoms i didn't really have any and to this day like <coughs> i feel good i feel normal most of my first trimester i felt pretty normal besides i was very very exhausted that was probably my top symptom is like exhaustion like <coughs> I remember I would wake up after sleeping a good amount of time I get my hours in I sleep in and I would wake up literally I would just pick up the dog crap boom put that away uh, wipe up wherever they pee do the dishes yeah just doing that doing the dishes I'm like oh my god I would go to the room real quick late lie down for a second and be like okay hold on like I feel like really fatigued out of breath I'm tired like I feel like I just ran a marathon I would get up, then I would mop the whole house like I do every day because these <laughs> dogs are a lot of work. And then just mopping, same thing. I'm so tired. Like, I was taking so many naps. I was so tired all the time. Uh, that's why the um, for like, you know, for a few months, two months, I haven't been that consistent. This is like the longest break I've ever took on YouTube. Um, like, this, you know, from July july august right, right now we're in october so july august september i'm three months right now and i just have not been feeling that great like the exhaustion was like the the main thing that took me down like just being so tired all the time and then i would get like occasionally i would get nauseous like it wasn't an all the time thing it wasn't even like a morning sickness i don't even know why they still call it morning sickness because everyone will tell you it's not just in the morning like if anything mine always activated in the afternoon like afternoon evening more more evening time it always started when i would go to grocery stores it would start up again and then mixed with the like being tired it was just not good like i would randomly get it here and there but it wasn't severe where i was like sick all day i was probably sick every other day nauseous slight nauseous but some days were a little more harder than others but honestly nothing crazy um another thing with the first trimester is these did a lot of growing they were super sensitive and tender the full first trimester um but actually like the last two weeks so week 13 14 like they don't feel as sore anymore like i don't have to be like super gentle they're still growing for sure but they're just not tender which is good i had slight cramping uh, which is normal that ha that freaked me out in the beginning but you know your uterus has to it's growing so of course it's going to contract and make that feeling of cramping i had that besides that my first trimester was like normal like i felt good i felt pretty like normal i oh food aversion i did have a food aversion really bad so you guys seen on on my vlogs before i love my spinach egg wraps like the one that i put in a green wrap for breakfast and i before getting pregnant i would eat those every single day and never get tired of it i almost like i was eating them so much where i had to be like okay i'm only gonna have them once a week because i don't need to have that wrap those carbs every single day so it was so crazy um i remember i don't know how far into the pregnancy it had to be like a few weeks something short and i made it and I, I took one bite and i was like oh my god this is literally disgusting i felt like i had to throw up like this the taste oh my god just even me thinking about it right now is like disgusting i tried it again it was actually two weeks so it's like two weeks ago like my symptoms like i feel i feel good my my um my energy levels are up i can eat my spinach drop again that food aversion was no joke it tasted so disgusting i tried it twice 
first day I was like, okay, this is a hit. Like I still forced myself to eat it because I'm not gonna waste food. The second time I waited a few weeks, I tried it again. I was like, same thing, disgusting, still forced myself to eat it. And then at this point, two weeks ago, I told Yama, I was like, I'm like, I'm gonna try it again. Like hopefully it tastes better. Cause I was already feeling better at that time. He's like, yeah, it's gonna taste good. I was like, I don't know. Sure enough, hallelujah. My spinach wrap tastes good again, but I definitely had a food aversion. That was like the only crazy food aversion thing. But I had an appetite. I know some people lose their appetite. Well, I didn't have an appetite that much in the morning. Like, oh my god, my boyfriend would get so mad at me, my godmother, drilling me. They just drill me and drill me, drill me. You gotta eat breakfast, you gotta eat breakfast. I'm like, I'm eventually gonna eat, but I just don't feel hungry right now. Like, I had no appetite. No appetite. Like, nothing sounded good. Like, before, I, I'm a little fatty. Like, I could eat, you guys. Like, I'll find something in the fridge and I'll. I'll, I'll eat just because I want to eat like I love food. I'm always hungry But the first trimester in the mornings like there was times where I just didn't have an appetite But nothing extreme like nothing about my first trimester was ex extreme some days here and there I didn't have an appetite and that was that but most days Just fine, but that's basically it for the first trimester I see my camera's about to die and I don't want to extend this too long because there's nothing really that special that happened first trimester like your girl feels good and normal and I'm ready to to have the same hopefully for the second trimester so anyways that is how i found out i'm pregnant and that was my first trimester update camera's about to die bye love you subscribe <laughs>